All right, today is January 3rd. This reading is for my Gemini. I love you, Gemini. Let's get into these messages. It is a general, so whatever comes out, whether it's about the bag or love, we're gonna speak about it. It is a general, so it may not resonate with everyone. I do daily readings, so it's happening tomorrow, if anything. All right, we have two out. We have... And while I was doing the pre-shuffle, the star card did pop out for you, Gemini. So I do want to mention that. Uh, so two of pentacles and we have the eight of wands. Yep. So the two of pentacles. So you guys may be juggling something around winning career or love with the eight of wands. Also that popped out. There may be some financial choices that you may have to make, but I do see swift movement around this choice or this juggling of around money, work, or career. So there are goals that are definitely within reach. There is smooth, swift movement that is coming in around career or your money. A lot of you Geminis need to take swift action at this time. All right, let's see what else. Let's clarify. Let's get some more information. Again, Gemini, this is going to be a general reading for whatever comes out. We're going to talk about it. So we got the Six of Cups here. We have the two of pentacles, the eight of wands, and the six of cups. So a lot of you Geminis can be thinking about the past. Let's get some information on this. Or there may be some past information or past communication that comes from somebody from the past. Hold on, let me turn this down. <laughs> so yeah, there may be some quick communication from someone from the past. Or maybe some, well, someone from the past in general is coming back, which may <laughs> cause you to have to juggle two people. You may be considering it. Not right now. All right, Gemini, let's see what else we have for you. We have two, no, quite a few that popped out. We have three, we'll take a look at these three. So we have the Empress, the Magician, and the Ten of Swords. So with this Empress energy, that is that Venetian energy, that is growth, protection, sensuality. So there may be someone from the past coming back, or you may get communication from maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you may be thinking of a Taurus, Virgo, Pat, Capricorn from the past. Then we have the Magician card, which is all about intention. So for a lot of you Geminis, you may be... Trying to manifest... Love in your life. Or someone from the past or manifest this communication to come in. With the Ten of Swords, let's get some more clarity. Let's get some more clarity on this. Because the Ten of Swords is a sense of feeling backstabbed, feeling like you're betrayed. You may be, a lot of you Gemini's may be dwelling on a betrayal from the past, a past relationship, that you feel like you were just 
left out in the cold or you were juggled. And there may be some communication around that from that person from the past, maybe an ex. But with this Empress energy and this Magician energy, it just looks like you guys are in creating mode. You guys are sitting pretty. You guys see growth around you. And you're manifesting and bringing a lot into existence. But I feel like you still have that sense of feeling betrayed and backstabbed. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, which could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there's a lot of earth energy in this reading. So this communication that comes in, you, you may be wondering if it's genuine, maybe from, again, someone from the past. Maybe some communication that feels like a betrayal. Let's clarify. We have two that came out. So we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Page of Pentacles. Knight of Swords may be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So with the Knight of Swords, definitely it looks like you're looking for some truth behind this forward movement, this quick movement, or this communication that comes in quickly. I need to pull one more card. Yeah, but there may be some communication that comes in from the past or a past person. Maybe it's course Virgo Capricorn or someone that holds that Venetian smooth energy. We have the Four of Swords. So a lot of you guys may need to contemplate on this information that comes in. Step back, recharge. And at the bottom we have that Strength card. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that um, fire energy. Let's get some more information on this before I expand on this. All right, so this is my tag, Magical Goon. If you guys like this deck, you guys can purchase. The link is in the description. Let's get into it for my Geminis. All right, that one definitely wanted to come out. So we have Dan's on my card Dan's. This came out for y'all yesterday. I was trying to upload y'all video and it just would not upload for shit. So confirmation this came out for y'all yesterday bands on my card dance let's see what else we got well something else flipped over in here i saw it candle magic yeah i feel like for a lot of you gemini's you guys may be on a spiritual path some of you gemini's may even be that magician that practices magic or does rituals or just spiritual you know works with those type of things Nothing is, like I said, if nothing is moving y'all but the money. Like, bands is the only thing that's going to make you move. <laughs> At this time. A lot of you guys could be manifesting in that magician energy. Trying to manifest a new beginning or an opportunity with the candle magic. The Page of Pentacles, The Magician, it's 
So a lot of you Geminis could be taking time to tap in, recharge, and manifest after maybe a betrayal from someone in the past. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius on the table here. Loud ass Gemini's. I love y'all though, Gemini. <laughs> Pillow talk. All right. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, so this would definitely be somebody from the past. Maybe an ex that is talking about you to their current person or with this pillow talk. Maybe talking shit, <laughs> saying so not so nice things, being judgmental. Let's see what else we have here for my Gemini. Right, we have jackpot. So yeah, a lot of you Gemini's are on your magician shit. You guys are definitely manifesting the magician, candle magic, and the jackpot. You guys are manifesting abundance for yourself, taking time to recharge and work on your manifestations and work on yourself in general. What else you got for my Gemini's? For a lot of my Gemini's, it may be you definitely may be sitting in that betrayal energy where you feel like somebody stabbed you in your back. Um, but they may be coming with this offer. And you're taking a step back to really go back into the past, into memories, and think if, you know, if this is something that you should accept an offer, an apology, whatever. So we have stun on them. So why are you doing that? A lot of you Gemini's are definitely stunning on, stunning on these bitches. <laughs> Especially with that jackpot card. There could be some abundance coming in. That allows you to just stunt your ass off. Ooh, okay. And you have the key to my heart. So a lot of you Gemini could be, yeah, seriously dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically a Taurus because this popped up in the Taurus reading. For some of you Gemini, there may be a Taurus that betrayed you. Gemini's, you could be manifesting a love interest as well. And as I say that, too good to be true, optimistic came out. Let's do some clarification. Page of Pentacles and the Stun on them and these 
jackpot card, there may certainly be a message or some contracts for you guys that bring in abundance for some hard work that you have done in, from in the past. So there may be some messages around work or contracts. Money. That's abundant for you. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's also somebody's thinking about you from the past or you may be thinking about them from the past with this offer. Um, or them trying to return with an apology or... You're thinking, is it too good to be true? You're taking your time to just sit back, analyze them, recharge yourself, work on yourself, work on your bag. A lot of you guys may be doing candle magic or manifesting, especially with the magician energy. And you guys are doing good, focusing on yourself, manifesting for you. And you're just stepping back. Like, is this apology too good to be true? Should I accept them back into my life? Should I accept this apology? Should I give them another chance? And with the Knight of Swords, it could be that, you know, also that that immature energy. Where they just move forward in a hurry. You know, and talk those sweet nothings into your ear. <clears throat> so definitely analyze. Pay attention to a person's actions. That always tells it all. Alright, what else we got for my Geminis? Alright, we have teamwork. So a partnership to complete a goal, someone will come to your aid, expanding your network, delegate tasks. What else we got for my Gemini? All right. So for a lot of you Geminis, I do see collaboration. Maybe it's someone from the past that you knew that will come to your aid to help you reach a goal. A lot of you Geminis need to go ahead and expand your network, speak with people, get with people, communicate with people. That's your strong point, communication, to complete a goal. Some of you guys need to delegate tasks. Stop working yourself so hard. Step back and recharge. I'm sorry, y'all. My throat hurts, so y'all be here with me. Then we have up in the air, not knowing where you stand, situation, decisions, still undecided, uncertain about something, lacking stability. And this would be ar around this love situation, I feel. So we have up in the air. So like I said, a lot of you Geminis are up in the air with this person from the past or these memories from the past that you're just going through. Again, it may be we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius on the board here, on the table here. So you're like, is it too good to be true? But they have the key to your heart or you have the key to their heart. There's still feelings there. Now maybe doing a, a little bit of showing off and stunning on them. <laughs> After a betrayal, which, hey, shit, do you. They're lost, right? They may be trying to juggle a situation. So yeah, up in the air, not knowing where you stand with this um, love situation. Situation, decisions still undecided. Especially she with that two of pentacles. That could be financial as well, because that's making financial choices. Juggling, you know, choices, that duality. Uncertain about something and lacking stability. So you do feel like this person that's coming back from the past lacks stability. 
and you're like is it too good to be true like have they changed or so but i see a lot of you gemini's thriving when it comes to your bag and career that's for sure so boredom a lot of you gemini's may be feeling bored at this time we have boredom bored of daily routine wanting more out of life longing for a change constrained by circumstances <laughs> and that also may be the um person that's coming back from the past they may feel you know bored with other relationships they have been in and that's why they're coming you know coming back to you and we have toxicity yeah yeah you're gonna really want to analyze think watch this person's actions um break down their words analyze their words their apology their return analyze all that very closely with this toxicity part it says toxic situations people it's time to purge having a toxic mindset dead end relationships yeah So sorry to say for a lot of you Gemini's, <laughs> this person, it may be a dead end with them. It's toxic. Time to purge day, motherfucking ass. Move on. And for a lot of you Gemini's, you guys need to let go of this toxic mindset, that's for sure. Especially around whatever betrayal happened. Whether it was um, regarding love or career. Third party. Yeah. Yeah. There's some messiness going on for some of you Gemini. Some messiness. They pillow talking. They telling uh, they person one thing. They telling you another thing. Like, yeah, third party. Others interfering in your business. Possible love triangle. Too many people involved. Someone is watching you. So, absolutely with... Um, this card, like their person may be watching you. They may also be watching you, like your social media, driving by your house, asking people about you. <laughs> That's for sure. Because you have the key to their heart or vice versa. You may be doing that to someone else. It just feels like they don't. They were like, they don't feel content without you, but it's just something that's not genuine about this to me. To me, but just use your discretion. You'll know. Everybody's situation is different. But yeah, some of y'all out here making that money, y'all don't bust a move unless it's uh for the bag, seriously. Some of y'all are doing real good with offers that came in or offers that are coming in. Like, y'all just smell like money, look like money, walk like money, talk like money. Look like abundance. But in a love situation, not so much. Not so much. Sorry, not so much. The world. Beautiful energy. All right, so we have the world. Completion of a major milestone, fulfillment time, success, broadening your horizons, end of a journey. So for a lot of you Geminis, there is a completion with that completion, which may have been a rough completion. It may have felt like an ultimate betrayal, backstab um, type of completion. There is, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, there's definitely some quick communication that may come in. You know, that makes that completion a little bit more easier because there's some offers that allows you or quick movement, quick movement that allows you to move forward. So a lot of you Geminis are and have reached that completion of a major milestone. That fulfillment, that success. So time to broaden your horizons 
And a lot of you Geminis, if you are manifesting, keep doing what you're doing because it, it is working. It looks like it's working. Especially with that candle magic card, the jackpot, stun on them. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. Definite offer may move, be moving in a little bit slow. But yeah, my Gemini babies that are here for the bag or about the bag. Yeah, regarding this love or maybe even but i'm getting more love it may be that it is too good to be true you're seeing you're looking through these rose colored glasses not like trying to not really seeing exactly what it is in this love situation especially if it's regarding somebody from the past there may be a third party um there may be some confusion around love not knowing exactly where you stand with this person or they don't know where they stand with you they may see you shining you know chatting about you behind the scenes are you doing the thing um about them there's definitely boredom in relationships or situations that they're in or vice versa that may be you gemini so I'm gonna pull one more from this deck. This is a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna be, especially with my throat hurting. But listen, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this information in this T2 group I'm like. Whew, okay, Pink Simon. This is, let me tell you something. There are there was opportunities in the air for Taurus and you, Gemini, because Taurus this popped out as well so many times. This is Pink Diamond. A rare opportunity or find. One of a kind love, unique creative expression wealth and prosperity so there may be a rare opportunity and that's exactly what i actually titled taurus's video that i just did there could be a rare opportunity or find coming in for you gemini's uh, a one-of-a-kind love again use your discretion analyze it very closely um unique creative expression and definitely wealth and prosperity here so stun on them, honey. So we have answers. Mystery reaches its solution, which is beautiful because there was shit that was up in the air here. So we have answers. So it will close out with you receiving answers. Mysteries, mystery reaches its resolution. Having answers, clarity, problems will be resolved closure from the past so whichever way this goes whether you accept this person back whether you accept this money offer whether you ex uh, accept this person from the past there will be clarity there will be answers and there will be closure with something to do from the past or past person just ask for guidance ask for clarity from the universe ask them to guide your steps your decisions always do what is best for you all right so at the bottom of the deck we have moon listen to your intuition intense emotions deception hidden truth proceed with caution and that's exactly what i'm telling you here do all of that gemini all of that all of that, all of that. moon listen to your intuition intense emotions deception hidden truth proceed with caution absolutely And as I'm doing this reading, the weekend, what it is, money is the motive, comes on. So that might be a message to some of you Geminis. Don't let nobody play you for the bag. All right, let's get into this week. But for a lot of you Geminis, I definitely see a lot of growth when it comes to, that's one thing I've seen in these reading, readings with you Geminis, a lot of growth when it comes to your career, your job, money, there's definite growth 
and success around that and I'm sure a lot of you Gemini's can testify to that let's see what else we got for my Gemini we have one flip over here hold on hold on okay temple secrets Number 32, which is secrecy, isolation, observation, ritual magic. So, yeah, there may be some secrets, the unknown, something that you cannot see here. Answers are coming. At the bottom of the deck of this uh, deck here, we have the moon. Which is listen to your intuition. So a lot of you Gemini's need to listen to your intuition. There may be some deception, hidden truth. Just proceed with caution um, in regards to any offer, especially when it comes to a love offer that comes through. I swear some of you guys might be dealing with a Taurus. <laughs> but yeah. So observe and analyze everything just like I was repeating a million times earlier. Observe, listen closely to a person's words. Watch a person's actions. That's going to tell it all. Then we have also ritual magic, which is right on point with candle magic. So someone may be doing um, candle magic when it comes to love. Either you're doing it or somebody is doing it on you. Let's see if some confirmation comes out during the reading regarding that. See what else we got for my Gemini. <clears throat> we have Universal Merkaba, a sacred purpose. You have the answers, lucid dreaming. So some of you guys are really tapped in. Just follow your intuition. Because there are answers and clarity that are coming in. Yeah, those answers will be presented to you. And a lot of you Geminis may be able to lucid dream yeah I have the jackpot stun on them you have the key to my heart too good to be true like for a lot of you Gemini somebody may just be trying to be with you or be in your circle because of what you can do for them or your money and just in general, flat out. So we have angelic realms, which is number one, a team effort, which we have teamwork right here. So we have a team effort, charity, validation, and patience. A lot of you Gemini's may have a rare opportunity where you're able to collaborate with with someone. You might be thinking it's too good to be true because it is a rare opportunity with that pink diamond card. Or someone comes to your aid. And just saves the day. All right. Inner Oracle number 17. You are the channel. Deja vu, self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, a lot of you Geminis are able to tap in and get these answers, but they will come and they will come to you. 
feel like I want to pull one more. I usually don't pull these new cards, but I'm just feeling drawn to do so for y'all, Gemini. Like, we have a lot of messages for you. <laughs> Even with my sore throat. All right, light activation. Evolution of spirit. Actioning. I'm sorry. Yeah, actioning of, of plans. Transcendence. Evolution of spirit. Actioning of plans. Transcendence. Light activation. Can you see homeboy there? Tap it in. I feel like you definitely need to tap in and use your intuition on how to move forward, if you should move forward, if you should move forward with this person. You are the channel. You are the channel. Just like this card here says. You are the channel. You already know. A lot of y'all Geminis are seriously y'all tapped in. Y'all already know. Y'all already know what time it is. Like, you already know somebody trying to finesse. You already know if this is the right move. I know y'all here for confirmation. You already know them. All right. Let's get into the Moonology card. Damn, did we do those yet? No. I feel like I want to do the Rebel deck. Shuffle the time. Yeah, but definitely tap in. Especially with this toxicity card, um, the ten of swords, third party, tap in, use your intuition. Um, all right, so we have, and it says, figure shit out on your own. <laughs> See, the universe could be funny like that sometimes. The universe will present something to us or bring something back from the past or put something in our face or temptation it goes for money love whatever a situation that we've already been through that we've already known is toxic you know that's not for us and we'll still be like oh it's up in the air i don't know what we should do and the universe will see what the fuck you're gonna do because you already have the answers you are the channel you already no, like your own validation. You already know, no, this ain't good. Or yeah, this is this is the play. This is it. You know what I'm saying? So the universe is saying, figure that shit out for yourself. Cause you are you already know. We already been through this. We we already showed you. We already been down this damn road. So now you figure it out for yourself. You do what you want to do. So next card we have is you think someone is lying? Yeah, they are. They are. Use your intuition. That's not going to be for everybody. You may have some genuine people around you. But there's some deceit and there's a lying motherfucker around you for sure. I hate to deliver shit like this. I wish it was all rainbows and unicorns. There is some rainbows and unicorns in here. But <laughs> there's, there's some shit that you can't see. Someone finessing or something that you should not be involved with from the past. Or somebody you should not be involved with from the past. Use your intuition. Again, go off of a, a motherfucker's actions. Analyze their words. What we got? We got give zero. You are giving too many fucks. Give zero. We're going to get into the Monology Jet and then the Fortune Cookie Deck, and then we're going to close this out. Like a lot of you Gemini's, especially with this row right here, the light activation, angelic realm, like you are the channel. Um, you have the answers, observation, ritual magic. A lot of you Gemini's are tapped in. Y'all already know what time it is. You really ain't even need this reading for confirmation. You already know. So pass this test. Don't listen i'm telling you without telling you okay don't let pride get in your way full moon leo what else you got to tell me what's up for my gemini's
think it's what is this? Yeah, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. I think it's time to take action for a lot of um, you Gemini's to get closure from the past. Get rid of toxicity or don't let it back in. For a lot of my Gemini's, it's time to take action towards a career, a goal, a partnership. Again, like I always say, strategically. And you are good enough. So if any of you Gemini's are doubting yourself and are thinking about settling and going back to something that is just plain toxic, don't. Don't. You're too good for that shit. But answers are coming. It'll be clear to you. And when it's clear to you, you know, which the universe really doesn't have to do any more clarifying because I feel like we've been down this road before already. So it's like, figure shit out on your own because we already been down this road. And if you think they're lying, they are. One more for my Gemini's. I'm just pulling so many cards for my Gemini babies. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it though. Adjustments are required. And that's third quarter moon. The bottom, a personal issue reaches resolution. So there is some completion here and closure from the past. All right, we're going to close it out with the fortune cookie deck. Yeah, but at this time, Gemini, observe, observe, observe. Ooh, okay, so positive work outcomes which I could swear that I've pulled this for you guys before. So a lot of you Gemini's are doing a lot of big things when it comes to your money, career, a goal, work, the bag. Positive work outcomes, consistent effort will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. What else for my Gemini's? future you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon either way great social fun awaits and you gemini's are social definitely social people social creatures though something flipped over society say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result so there may be new love for a lot of you Gemini's. There also may be a lot of invitation, work invitation, even love invitations coming your way. Um, a lot of networking opportunities, which here with the teamwork, we do have expanding your network, which is beautiful. So a lot of positive work outcomes for my Gemini's that are interested Especially with that page of pentacles and that um what we have here we have the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles so yeah major life change time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy in a trouble free existence yeah let's move on to the new major life changes a time for a major life change a new lifestyle or location will bring great joy. All right, my Gemini's. The bottom we have achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. 
although on the family front someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights so you might have someone in your family gemini that is um you know not feeling up to par or sick sending love and light to them um but there are some achievements enjoy the lime definitely enjoy the limelight you've earned it all right gemini i love you guys so much <laughs> my throat hurts man. i'm gonna go get some rest and i'll see y'all in the next video later gemini